Hello, so this is my first video of the year trying to find out if I can still remember how to use this software for editing videos. Um, what we have here is a Reaper session uh, which has been uh, used in many other videos and uh, in the uh, play uh, options of Reaper um, you will see that when I pop up this window um, there is a uh, synchronization of Reaper linked to SMP, uh, SMTPE data coming from uh, input number 1 at 30 frames a second and 40 kilohertz on 24 bits audio and that was is actually coming from the wing which is on the right side we'll see that as well I also have a wing WL um, automate session running and we are going now to the wing showing you how things have been set up on that side um, to automate uh, wing data from the SD card and synchronizing Reaper at the same time. Alright, now that I have a uh, somewhat decent position for the camera, uh, we can look at the different options. Um, so there is in SDA a uh, session um, which has six tracks and uh, you can see that uh, track number one on the very left unfortunately my arm is just in front of it is hiding um, data which is actually showing uh, pretty strong there and that channel is muted uh, this is the channel that actually has the uh, SMTPE data uh, so I have those six tracks as I'm showing here in that routing uh, one two three four five six and this, as I'm showing now, is the track number one, which has the SMTPE data. And on the next uh, set, I have five tracks uh, coming from USB uh, using the ASIO uh, driver. And that is actually data coming from Reaper. I started play on uh, the SD card. As you can see, Reaper is playing along and it's basically synchronized with the transport section as well as the SMTP data that is coming from the wing console. So that's an interesting way to synchronize um, your DAW, whether it's Reaper or anything else at that point, uh, with uh, wing uh, W8 Automate, uh, because just by providing SMTP uh, you know that uh, you can actually do that what I found actually is um, by the way I'm inverting the channels coming from the SD card just for the fun uh, but what I found is that there is about a 12 samples uh, delay between the SD card and what comes from my uh, DAW session on Reaper um, and you know all the cursors being about 0 dB here are uh, showing that um, the, the data is actually um, providing no output at all. Um, if I change the volumes on the elements here, um, we can hear the data a lot better. Um, but that was a way to find out, you know, how many samples I had, um, uh, you know, using um, in terms of delay uh, using the SD card versus the uh, input from the DAW itself. I'm recording automation uh, playing on the SD card levels uh, trying to go back in time <coughs> and I believe actually at some point I'll be able to play this back um, so I moved probably the cursor way too 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 much in uh, backward. So let's try again, starting from the beginning. I probably will hit uh, you know a fast play in my video edi editing to uh, to enable that. So here we go. Uh, should get some point the uh, the cursor. Oh, they're moving. Okay, good you can see I put them down and then coming them having them coming back up uh, where they were 
So, of course, all the features in terms of automation uh, from the uh, uh, Automate program are available and still running, uh, while you know Reaper is also playing at the same time as the SD card is playing. So once more, I have no idea exactly where my recording has been um, uh, done uh, before moving backwards. So it's going to take some some time before the automation um, comes back in line. Okay, it should be around around this point um, where we see those uh, cursor on the right side uh, moving as I recorded them uh, just before. They're going down and back up as I recorded them. So just a way to uh, uh, trying to do it uh, again. Uh, just a way to show that you can actually synchronize audio data coming from again any kind of DAW, I'm, I'm using Reaper here, but any kind of DAW that can synchronize on SMTPE data um, can actually be used that way. Um, the only thing you lose is one channel on your SD uh, card, and you must have the facility to actually output the data from that channel of the SD card um, to the ASIO driver back to your 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 DAW and the DAW will be then taking the, the data from the SMTP and synchronized to it. So when I stopped um, the SD card uh, you can see that uh, Reaper stopped at the same time and at the same position because it is synchronized with the SD card. Um, now if we play with uh, the you know the contents of this uh, audio data so here it is I'm going to be unmuting this uh, channel and uh, as you can see I forgot to push the volume so nothing comes out um, but at some point I will put the volume on uh, moving the fader um, here I go and now you can actually hear the data It's actually not good for the ears, um, but it gives you an idea of you know the type of uh, data. Of course, you uh, mute that, um, so you don't have to play that. Well, this this was just a small demo. Again, works with any kind of DAW and uh, Wing W Live Automate. Thank you.